My dad always told me he didn't want me to get into mining. Stay the hell out of mining, he used to tell me. Actually, pro probably a little stronger language than that. I wanted to be available to help people. The one thing I always wanted to do was get into mine rescue, just because I grew up seeing him do it. We were three generations. We've had my father, as well as myself and my son. Uh, that's all I've known all my life is mining. I do it because I want to help people. Well, obviously, he's done, he done it because he wanted to help people also. Yes, I do consider myself a dragger man. Like growing up, I would have never known that this was what you did every day. A true dragger man is somebody qualified in mine rescue and has actually gone under oxygen to fight uh, to fight a fire. And once I started to do it, I said, you know what, this is really enjoyable. It's, a, it's an adrenaline rush. I don't think you can comprehend until you've actually seen it. The heavy equipment and the noise and the, the darkness. He's told me quite a few stories of guys dying in the mines. At the end of the day, I didn't want the two of you worrying about that and what I did. And as a Drager man, they count on people like us. I pray for those mine rescue men on behalf of their wives, their children. Everybody down there has someone up top who's waiting for them. It's a camaraderie. We put our, our faith and confidence in each member of the mine rescue team. I say that mine rescue is a privilege. And it's a club of good people, you know. Thank you, man.